The first thing to know about Montessori is that the name comes from the woman who developed the theory and the method. Maria Montessori was an Italian physician um, who ended up working with children and through her observations with children developed this different method and, and philosophy of, of teaching. And it's based on the fact that she believed and observed that children need to be active and using their hands when they're learning. It's more effective that way. That they learn best when they are interested in the material and in the subject. You, you take one and you listen to it and then you take another one and then you listen to it. And then if, if they sound the same, you can look at them. If they're, if they're not, you have to put another one to the side. Every time I memorize them, I would have to trace them and make my own map that looks exactly like it. And I have to use colored pencils on it, which the lead breaks off all the time. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I finished one today. It, it was the map of the USA, and it, that was my fourth map. One of those building blocks to education is learning how to get along with you know, different people of different ages. I mean, when you go to college and we, when you get a career, n no, not everybody's the same age. Um, you're going to have to learn how to get along with, you know, people a lot older and a lot younger. And so it just makes sense that starting from the beginning, starting at an early age to, to introduce other age groups. A multi-aged setting works best when working with children. It's more of a family-like atmosphere. So to have children who are different ages together just promotes them working and cooperating better. It's not just mental learning. It's not just memorizing. You know, it's hands-on. It's visual. And that right there, you know, when you add all those together, it's you learn it deeper. You, you learn it for forever. One of the goals of the Montessori philosophy and method is that the child learns to be in charge of their own learning. So when we talk about self-directed learning, it's that the child knows they, they have a say in how they spend their time, what they're doing, what they're learning. But that doesn't mean that they're free to goof around and waste time. The thing to, to understand about the Montessori environment is that there is freedom with responsibility. And another way of saying that is there is choice with limits to those choices. And those limits are going to come from the adult that's in the classroom, making sure that the child that the child is using their time well, and that they're working on the things that they need to work on to progress through the levels of of the education system. The state curriculum guidelines are a limit to how long a child can do a certain work because they're going to have to move on and make sure they're covering all of the basics. So we want a child who is motivated to learn, who has skills of um, of, of knowing how to learn, how to problem solve, how to work cooperatively with others, and how to resolve conflicts with others. And those are the kinds of life skills that a child receives in this environment that will serve them well throughout their life. I think that the Montes switching to Montessori and how the school has really focused on that has helped her a great deal in, in problem solving. No frustrations. She wants she wants to figure out how to do it. She knows there's other ways to figure it out. She, she wants a challenge. She's definitely become very calm when approached with problems. Part of what we're also working on are all those social skills, grace and courtesy and how we're treating one another, um, and learning how to work in a group to accomplish a goal, learning how to resolve conflicts as they come up. So all of those are I believe one of the greatest benefits of the Montessori environment that I've seen in my years of, of being involved is, is those life skills that the children are practicing at an early age. It was interesting at Open House telling parents um, about the Montessori philosophy. Um, I had everything out on the shelves. Traditionally, you're supposed to have um, empty bookshelves when the students come in, but I wanted them to see the materials, to see them, how the students would work with them, and why they work with the materials. And it really seemed to put parents at ease. They have smiles on their faces. Oh, my child would really like that. You know, my child would really enjoy discovering. And they're actually working more, is what I tell parents, and, and they're probably solving how can we figure this out and and so just showing the material letting them see how an example of how it works 
really seemed to put them at ease. And then my excitement and enthusiasm towards it too, I think, helped. So, What has been found is that children who leave the Montessori environment at Mori, they'll be leaving after eighth grade. The children who transition do have a successful transition. They leave with solid academic skills and very solid social skills. And that's what we hear over and over again from public school teachers who receive children who've been through the Montessori system. They, they say things like, um, these children are leaders. We see a spark of curiosity and imagination in them that we don't see often in some of the other children. There's just something different about them, they'll say. So, so that eagerness to learn and that feeling like there's still some, some, some interest there. <laughs> It's, it's really interesting just talking about things a lot, you know, with friendships or, or relationships in general, talking about what it means to let someone else go first or what it means to not always want your award picked out in a day. And it's so interesting seeing them evolve in that too and seeing like, oh, I hope so-and-so gets the award today or I, I'll let that person go first or I don't mind being last. And those kind of conversations are just so fun to have with them. The best way of really seeing what it's all about is to see it in action rather than talking me, me talking about it or, or then reading about it it's valuable to just come in and plan on being in the classroom for at least an hour so you see a full cycle of work and um, so they can call the school and make an appointment and come on in and, and observe see the children at work <laughs>